subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated with the latest videos from School of Technology Management and Engineering and MIMS in the Warm greetings to everyone present here. I, Shachi Malvia, on behalf of NMIMS School of Technology Management and Engineering family in law welcome you all to the AICTE training and learning faculty development program on Internet of Things. Hope you all have enjoyed the previous session on Internet of Things. Before we start the session, I would like to inform you all that a feedback form will be floated in the chat box. So please fill the necessary details correctly as attendance will be marked on the basis of the submission of feedback forms only. The topic for today's discussion is cloud-based IoT. An IoT cloud is a massive network that supports IoT devices and applications. This includes the underlying infrastructures, servers, and storage needed for the real-time operations and processing. An IoT cloud also includes the services and standards necessary for connecting, managing, and securing different IoT devices and applications. Today, we have with us Dr. Dinesh Singh Ji Thakur. He is the director at School of Robotics and Center for Training and Placement. Defense Institute of Advanced Technology, DIAD, DRDO, Ministry of Defense, Pune. He has done BE in Mechanical from Baum University, Aurangabad, and MTech in Mechanical, and PhD from IIT Madras. He is an Executive Council Member for Indian Institute of Metals and has been a recipient of Teacher of Year Award for DIAD DU. Dr. Dinesh was listed in Who's Who with the World and has been nominated for many notable awards like Bharat Shiksha Award and Bharat Jyoti Award. We feel privileged to have you today with us, sir. I now request sir to share his valuable inputs to the audience. Over to you, sir. Yeah, very good afternoon. I hope my voice is audible. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, I'm stopping my video so that I should get a proper bandwidth. I hope my slides are visible. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, thank you uh, for introducing to the participant. Uh, <clears throat> uh, before I take on to my topic that is approach to Internet of Things that is cloud best, uh, let me, I, at the outset, let me th say thanks to organizers uh, for giving me chance to uh, share my thought on this uh, Internet of Things that is on cloud best. Uh, before I take on to you on my topic, uh, let me briefly brief you about my institute uh, because uh, we were not there in the public domain. Now we are in the public domain. So I thought it is the appropriate platform to just to introduce about my university. Uh, this is the only defense university located at, at Pune. It is in part and parcel of DRDO. Uh, Regarding my university, uh, this is deemed to be university, uh, catering the needs of all defense organizations. Uh, we don't have undergraduate programs. We have MTech by research, uh, MTech. We have got around 27 specialization. Uh, we have MS by research and we have got a PhD programs. So put together, you may be wondering who are our uh, students. So our sp student spectrum is very much uh, heterogeneous in nature. Uh, we do receive the students from tri-services, Army, Navy, Air Force. And we do receive the students from our very own DRD or, uh, you know, R&D organization. We have got around 55 labs spread across India. All the most of the scientists and technical officers, they do get admission into our DIT. Apart from this one, we do in, uh, take the students from ordnance factories uh, who gets recruited through UPSC cadre, what we call it as IES cadre. 
And apart from this one, we do get students from friendly uh, uh, foreign nationals. And whatever the left out seats are there, we do open it to the civilian students and we do admit them through our gate and we pay them scholarship also. Same is the case with respect to the PhD program. MS by research is exclusively meant for, you know, uh, only for sponsored candidates who are working with Ministry of Defense. So this is what in nutshell uh, about my department and about my institute. Uh, basically, uh, when I'm talking, I have taken this particular talk to talk to you. Uh, let me tell you that okay, now we, we are the uh, opener batsman of this particular FDP, Faculty Development Program. So slightly I'll be encompassing and elaborating or try to, trying to touch upon uh, what comprises this internet of things. And definitely then finally I'll be connecting it to the cloud-based systems and etc. Now, uh, the very reason is that we, we, we are at very, 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 you know, uh, starting age of this internet of things. Let me tell, be very honest as far as the uh, Indian context is concerned. And uh, a proper thorough understanding needs to be uh, you know, looked upon so as to implement it properly because there are certain do's and do nots and certain guidelines, principles, rules are there which we need to understand in totality. Uh, just to uh, talk uh, with respect to my this particular topic, I have got my signature slide which generally always love to share with my fellow colleagues, you know, how do we look at, at the life? And we know that okay, now because of this present pandemic situation, our total perspective had changed looking at the life and et cetera. Uh, most of the times uh, we have got a two mindset and generally a positive and negative. And we know that you know, most of the times the negative mindset tries to ride over on the positive. Uh, when I'm talking with respect to this, generally we come across uh, this kind of one thought process, what we say that just do nothing, just, just uh, yeah, have fun, you know, just do nothing. This is some sort of a negativity. Generally, most of the people, they carry along with them. And if at all somebody is asked to do something, uh, that the first thing which comes to in, in their mind is that it is impossible. Look at the two negative windows. One negative window says just do nothing. Another negative window, it is impossible. Now, uh, why am I sharing all these kind of, uh, you know, thought-provoking, you know, slides? There is a reason. I'll be talking about that. Because when we are starting anything, most of the people, they come out with some kind of a negative and they say that, okay, these are the negative thoughts generally they put forth. But let me tell you that when we have studied the mathematics, two negative things, you know, gets added up. And when you combine these negative windows together, it says, just do it, nothing is impossible. And that is the reason this particular, you know, uh, topic is, is the need of the day. And initially, you may find some difficulties or some kind of a resistance from the systems and etc. But if you go on continuing doing all those kind of aspects, you will come to know that if you do it, it's it's not impossible. It's it's possible. And with this particular thought process, let me wish one and uh, all, you know, a, a very happy and a prosperous day ahead. And let me allow, uh, let me let me take this privilege of sharing my such kind of a thought process with you people. Why am I saying so? There's a reason. This is a classic cartoon, right? Uh, just look at, have a, have a uh, 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 attention toward this particular slide. If you really look into this particular slide, uh, uh, there's a gentleman in a blue, you know, you know, jacket who is asking one question. So what's your verdict on industry 4.0, right? Look at a gentleman, a human being is asking this particular question and who is answering? Literally keeping our company in the game. If you, if you concentrate on this particular slide, you'll find that it's a machine who is answering, right? Right? And this is what is something is going to happen in near future. And if what is the back end mechanism is Internet of Things and etc. Okay. How 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 it, we need to weave it in such a beautiful fashion. So we need not to answer. It is a, it is a machine tool system. It is a you know machinery who will be answering for our, all our questions and etc. But to, to reach to that particular destination, we have to have certain understanding. So why am I saying so? This is what is something as we all are engineering fellows, right? And we, we are all engineering colleagues. 
and mostly we look into the engineering from the design perspective. You talk of, and, and I'm not talking with respect to the very specifically mechanical engineering, you talk of civil, you talk of computer, you talk of any engineering field, uh, uh, we, we design something, we articulate something, we synthesize something, and then we analyze something else. Now, when we are involved into some kind of a design process, and that is what, when we are designing something, please understand, you have to have one classic factor with you. What is that classic factor? To appreciate that classic factor, I always love to quote the Apple's quotation, and I'm a strong believer of that particular Apple's quotation. I'm sure some of you might be aware of this Apple's quotation, but let, let me take this particular privilege of sharing again that particular thought process what Apple has put forth in, the, in, their, in their slogan. It says that you have to have think differently capability. And that is the reason you are finding that nowadays Apple is, nobody is able to replace them from the market because they're a strong believer of this particular concept that is called as think differently concept. And if you really want to implement this internet of things in any, any, any corner, any perspective, you have to have this think differently capabilities and etc. Why am I saying so? There is a reason. The reason is written somewhere over here. The art challenges the technology and the technology inspires the art. And this could not be truer than in design and research. Just, just, just look at, if you try to understand each, every bits and pieces of this particular statement, the art challenges the technology and the technology inspires the art. Today, one such a design concept where people are trying to understand is the nature. And the present pandemic situation has made us to understand, look at the nature's from very finer aspect itself on. And that is the reason it is forcing us to develop some kind of a technological developments and et cetera. Technological findings, you know, technological instrumentation, technological medical uh, apparatus, whatnot and et cetera. Just look around last two years developments and et cetera. You'll find that people are coming out with some kind of an innovative, some kind of a thought provoking ideas just to implement it. Now, when I'm saying this, we have to understand why am I talking with respect to this? And it is equally true with respect to the Indian context. This is the data, what I'm trying to share with you, which is, which is slightly alarming also, right? Then immediately you will come to know that, okay, why am I sharing this particular data? Look at this one. This, this is not my data. This is taken from the important findings and etc. Product development, some of the sobering facts, an estimated 75% of the new products fail, an estimated 46% of the resources that companies devote to the conception, development, and launch of a new product go to the ventures that do not succeed on us. Does it have any relationship with the Internet of Things topic? I should say yes, very closely. Because something, something, somewhere things are going wrong. And that is where we need to understand why this kind of a statistics, this is not the statistics only with respect to the Indian perspective. It, it is the statistic with respect to the complete world. And that's what most of the companies are facing. And that is the reason they are talking of this internet of things. So as to reverse this particular, you know, philosophy or facts. Now, to, to, if you really want to reverse this kind of a philosophy and fact, then we have to go in a long way. Why am I saying so? This is another classic, you know, uh, uh, photograph put forth by with the Ford Motor Company. And you can see that what, what cost a lot, what shadow cost a lot. It's a design stage. And that is the reason if you are trying to implement the Internet of Things right at the design stage appropriately, you'll be able to handle, you'll be able to tackle the competitions in the existing market. And that too, you'll be able to satisfy the customer's needs also. Now, why am I saying so? Look at this another statistics. Because in the design stage itself only, the 70 to the 80% of the cost can be frozen. And when I say, and if you really get into this manufacturing, which is 30 to 20, 20 to 30%, it, it, it is associated with this manufacturing cost. Why am I saying so? The reason is that because the internet of things needs to be embedded, percolated in the design stage itself. And if you do not do that, down the line, you'll come to know that again, something we are missing because we are unable to, because today 
you will, we are unable to tap where exactly the things are going wrong and internet of things is is one kind of a tool solution which will be helping you to tap those kind of a things which are going wrong and you will be able to take a corrective actions what we call in a electronics language electronics engineering language feedback close control loops and etc now why am i saying so there is a reason look into the next slide this is my really signature slide right which i like very much and which is the need of the day today most of the engineers they say that we are applied researchers and why do why why should i look into some kind of a scientific development what are taking place gone are the days today any engineering graduate or for who the person who is pursuing engineering those who are graduated are into the teaching profession if they they say so they'll be thrown out of the this particular field and so why because you need to keep a scientific development and then you need to understand the science behind those kind of things if if i say like this one i'll just prove my statement nowadays most of the times we use most of the softwares which are there and we fail to appreciate what is the back end algorithm they have used it then you will say sir why why do i need to use it? think about that because it's a mathematics person it's a science person who might have put those kind of a mathematical formulations and my in, in interest is that to use this particular software but somewhere we have committed a mistake because not necessarily all all the inputs will be taken into consideration for developing those kind of a software and etc so here the question comes whether my software is fulfilling all my fundamental requirements or not what is the back end mathematical principle needs to be adopted so as to solve such kind of a complex equations and etc because at the end of the day when i'll be trying to analyze my data i should be able to in a position to understand that whether i'll be able to interpret it in the right directions or not so as an engineering student as an engineering faculty we need to understand we need to tap the scientific development one to one then only we'll be able to develop the appropriate technology and that when we'll be blending these theories and the tools together a classic wonderful engineering principle will come out of that why are we doing all these things because at the end of the day our 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 uh, you know um, aim is to give some kind of a comfortable human life to society in general and in nature in particular and today we are seeing that any activity what we are doing and if we are not following certain rules and norms properly then definitely we will not we, we are answerable to some kind of organization and etc that is the reason please remember you have to follow all this kind of a you know closed loop system in totality why am i saying so there is a reason the reason is that today science is tomorrow's technology i am a strong believer of this particular statement and so you know if i understand today science properly i'll be able to develop technology in totality and etc technology in the form of iot technology which is based on the cloud systems and etc so let's understand why am i talking about this because nowadays the the the, the, the whole manufacturing system is getting changed and we are redefining this particular manufacturing system sir look at just to highlight you so that again i can talk very comfortably as i'll be progress with respect to my slides why am i saying so just have a look into this the contributions of manufacturing to the national economy are far reaching and broad and include the gdp exports high paying jobs meaningful return on investment the symbiotic relationship between the manufacturing and innovation so what is important science technology engineering and mathematics what we call it is a stem education and national security and if we happen to look into the national education policy that is what they are they are advocating that today you need to come out of your comfort zone and you have to be very innovative in nature and you need to blend all the disciplinary so nicely the outcome which what country is expecting will be a meaningful that is the reason we have got a, a prime minister's very own you know uh, dream make in india concept if you remember he is very much advocating about a, a local for vocal for local kind of a concepts and etc because now it's a high time most of the companies are are not looking at the china 
whereas they are looking at india as a potential you know investor yeah uh, potential uh, you know country where they can think of investing and etc and if we do not rise and do not encash this kind of a situation then we'll be left behind and again we'll be saying in the future the same statement uh, there is a technological lag with respect to the european countries and the us and etc now this is the high time to encash it to encash this particular or we should not miss this particular burst to do that you have to have the proper thorough understanding of a iot based systems iot based manufacturing system iot based uh, product design and development concepts and etc and that is the reason how it can be uh, how we can fulfill the dream of very own prime minister of india with, with respect to the make in india and vocal for uh, local kind of a concepts and etc look into this so things are changing thought process is changing why initially if i told you that i i told you that okay the people the immediately they come out with some kind of a negative thought process whenever we think of implementing something just to appreciate my that you know just do nothing and it is impossible kind of a slide just to tell you that make you aware that okay now we used to follow this kind of concept about three decades ago when innovation led to the high use of robotics in factories many people predicted that within 10 years all factories could be filled with robots and there would be no human operators newspaper every talk most of the people were you know trying to say this kind of a statement and we are saying that no say no to the robotics and etc look into this decades later human operators are still present in the factories and will continue to be there in the foreseeable future and etc isn't it a fact look at the other piece today people are predicting that additive manufacturing will replace all machining processes and etc is it going to happen now when i say very specifically the additive manufacturing you will surprise that the back end of this additive manufacturing is nothing but the internet of things very specifically when i am trying to talk about some of you those who work in the area of additive manufacturing will justify my statement and some of you may say oh how what way it is connected to the internet of things and etc i'll be talking about those kind of a concepts just to give the proper meaning of this kind of a concepts right what is that it will not that is not going to happen please remember anything what you are adding is some kind of a for value addition it will not be substituting the existing systems and etc it's a add on value additions and etc so as to speed up the processes because today nobody is ready to wait for their product to get received at their hand and etc why am i saying so look at when i'm talking with respect to this there are so many things which we need to understand right hybrid systems of robots and humans additive and subtractive manufacturing composites and metal digital analog processes cyber and physical system nano and macro cells and so on and etc you have to have a proper blending of all this kind of a, you know the present one and the futuristic concept together we need to blend them together to do that you have to have apple's quotation with you that is think differently concept then only you will be able to do that one. similarly robots will not completely replace the humans just as just as additive manufacturing will not completely replace subtractive manufacturing so in that case we need to need to have a proper blending system integration what we talk about an internet of things talks about the system system integration itself only rather they will work collaboratively with the balanced distribution of responsibility gone are the days where we used to say this particular domain of work is related to this particular domain of work this particular activity can be handled by this particular people only no longer in the present scenario or in a futuristic point of view is going to be true you need to know everything and you need to handle all those kind of a situations scientifically also let's let's understand that how to do that now when i'm saying so you have to follow if at all you want to distribute it responsibly certain norms what is our what are those norms standards will also be essential for the system of hybrid system to function efficiently and effectively there has to be some kind of a benchmark systems and etc if you do not have standardization 
in your any kind of activity, you will not be able to implement the Internet of Things and etc. To implement IoT based systems, you talk of any system. That is the reason, very specifically, I am not talking with respect to any one system, I am talking in general. So it means that when you want to implement it, you have to follow certain standards and etc. Why am I saying so? Let's say that I'm remotely sitting over here in Pune. If I want to assess some of the facility or transfer the data to Europe and US, I should follow certain nomenclature, some standard terminology, standard rules. Then only they'll be able to understand it in totality and will be able to execute. If our language of communication and that to engineering language, what we call it as a graphics, Similarly, this IoT language, both of us are not understanding in one tone, will not able to fulfill the requirement of this Internet of Things and Why am I saying so? Have a look into that. What are those building blocks I'm trying to talk about in the present manufacturing systems and so These are the two, two very important things to build on. One is called as a digital twins and the digital threads. The notions of the digital twins and the digital threads were initially developed by the defense community are now being adopted for far beyond the original developer community. Let me take this particular privilege of saying that okay, it is the defense people who introduces any scientific technology into the public domain and etc. If you constantly follow the World War I and World War II, what all developments have taken place, it is because of the you know wars only, World War I and World War II. And most of the concepts or technological developments and etc., they, they are the outcome of defense community only. Then what are these two important terminologies which you will be hearing here and there when you are talking of industry 4.0 in backend internet of things and etc. Let's try to understand in totality why am I talking about this. A digital twin is a digital representation of a physical asset. Digital twins provide information on the workings of the assets, such as design specification, engineering models, and the as-built and operational data that are unique to that assets. Second, the digital thread is a common communication framework that connects data from all areas of the assets and provides a combined view of the data for the assets entire life cycle. Look at, you need to handle data very carefully. And when you are handling the data carefully, you need to give proper specification, engineering models, and as built and the operational data proper. That is the reason one of the slogan of the government of India is a go digital and etc. And today we are enjoying digital things very effectively. But there are certain do's and do nots. Same is the case with the Internet of Things when you are handling through the cloud based systems and etc. Why am I saying so? Let's look into this. Apart from this one, you have to have a total supply chain transparency and visibility, hybrid manufacturing, innovative materials, advanced metrology, a skilled workforce for intelligent manufacturing, new business models such as convergent manufacturing and high-end services and such. <clears throat> if you try to take out any one of the component out of this seven, you will find backend is the internet of things. And to fulfill those requirements, you have to have a cloud-based system. Sense. Talk of advanced metrology, gone are the days where people used to take a vernier caliper micrometer and then they used to take a measurements and etc. Then we started talking about the CMM, coordinate measuring machines, where a, 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 a pointer or a you know, <clears throat> probe used to come and contact with the workpiece and you try to get the data and etc. In the process, we used to lose some of the data and we never used to get a proper understanding of the data. Today, because of the pandemic situation, we are not supposed to touch each other. Same is the case in the machine tool system. It has been found that you should not touch the sample. You should not touch the component. Without touching the component, you should be able to pick up the data and etc. So non-contact vision systems are coming into the force and those data should be transferred to any system and I should be able to reproduce the components and etc. What we are trying to talk about the reverse engineering concept or re-engineering concepts and etc. What is the requirement at the back end? IoT, Internet of Things and etc. Similarly, you talk of hybrid manufacturing or talk of any other concepts, you'll find that it is IoT based. 
So right from the beginning of my talk, somewhere I started with Industry 4.0 and then I, I'm trying to connect most of the facets of other aspects of this Industry 4.0. We basically started migrating from a Stone Age to the Bronze Age and today we are talking of Industry Age, Industry 1.0, 2.0, 3.0 and 4.0, where Industry 4.0 is largely concentrating on the two aspects that is called as Internet of Things and the Industry 4.0. It has become the talk of the time. Germany, they are able to successfully implement. In India, most of the companies are, they are geared up as I'm connected with good number of the Pune based manufacturing and the software industries. And there they have literally geared up to implement this kind of a concepts in their industry and because they know that again, down the line, they'll be able to rip the fruits out of this particular concepts and etc. Now, to do this, you have to follow certain things and etc. Because when, when you're talking of this particular industry 4.0, and that too, in a very particularly as India being a manufacturing hub or the manufacturing system, its design principle emphasize on interconnection, what we call it is a collaboration standard and security, please remember, and information transparency, data analytics, information provision for decentralized decision-making process. People should be able to understand the data. People should interpret data in the form of information. People should be in a position to understand or derive the knowledge out of that one. And accordingly, they should be able to take the decisions and etc. Look at how important things are there. Data, information, knowledge, and then I should be able to make a decision on based on that particular knowledge and etc. That is giving rise to the another requirement in Indian context, what we call it is a smart factory, is the fundamental concept of the industry 4.0 and to commission it the field of business information system engineering that includes innovative manufacturing execution system, what we call it as NES, our ERP approaches will come into the limelight and etc. Even the most of the government organizations they are going for MIH based or ERP based. What is the reason? No longer we are expected to wait in the queues hours together. And that's what the government is eyeing on. So the utility of the human being should be channelized. The utility, utility of the human being should be multiplied. And that is the reason whole of the world and in particular India is talking about the internet of things and that is the reason this particular you know FDP has been sanctioned so as to sensitize the people around us. Now in this particular scenario we have to understand what is the basically essence of that. Now when we are talking of data exchange in manufacturing technology and processes which include cyber physical systems what we call it is a CPS, internet of things, Industrial Internet of Things, Cloud Computing on Cognitive Computing and Artificial Intelligence. And you can see that from where we started and where we have landed up. And because of which things are becoming very, very cost effective also. When you implement in totality all these kind of systems. Why it is required? Because your Industry 4.0 consists of some kind of a data collection, service, optimization, data mining in cloud and added value. Today, I'll be feeling very happy when I come to know that my, 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 my account is getting operated secu securely. When I come to know that, okay, now today, living in Pune, I can monitor my, my father, parents at my native who are 12 hours away from here by putting some kind of a CCD camera or putting by some kind of a cameras over there. And I can monitor whether they are perfectly all right or not, whether, whether any kind of, you know, things are happening, unusual things are happening or not. Today, I'm very secure. I need not to put my brain in thinking that, okay, how are they? How are they feeling? Whether any, any unforeseen situations are coming or not. Today, I can just, I'm just putting a camera over there comfortably. I'm monitoring. I'm able to see them continuously. I'm feeling happy. This is what is something like this one, what we are using in individual's life also. Don't look at the internet of things only from the industry perspective or from the academic perspective or the research perspective. It is going to bring, bring a lot of, you know, paradigm shift in our individual's life and our whole life perspective will be changing. Why am I saying so? What are the building blocks of Industry 4.0? If you look into this, in, what all facets or the revolving spheres are there around Industry 4.0, 
there is one more sphere which talks about the industrial internet of things and etc other things are there other facets are there building blocks are there i'll be taking unnecessary much of the time in talking about that one but i i'm 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 being i'm being asked to talk very specifically on internet of things and particularly with respect to the cloud based internet of things but these things are very needed to appreciate the subsequent slides otherwise i'll be missing the link now for that one we need to understand what is that i'm going to talk about now when i'm trying to understand what is that i'm going to talk about let's understand what is the basic difference between industry 4.0 internet of things industry internet of things and etc so industry internet of things is simply about connecting the devices on the plant floor allowing for the development of the cyber physical systems and inter device communication which provides a new ways to generate and collect interesting data throughout the industrial space and etc iiot is at its core about connecting the devices whereas on a larger scale industry 4.0 is a blend of digitalization new technology and practical decisions focused on dramatically changing how we manufacture products through unprecedented flexibility efficient production and visibility at every level of production please underline unprecedented flexibility what is that we are looking in our life flexibility at the end of the day there should be efficient production and i should be able to visualize every level of production system sense please don't take in with respect only the production system that is the reason my personal example i have quoted that today i am able to see my parents continuously on my mobile through this particular iot system sense similarly by blending the lean initiatives automation technology materials downtown downtime reduction upgrades investments in overall equipment effectiveness the industry 4.0 philosophy keeps this generation of manufacturers competitive in a global market also today i need not to go to the you know the shop to return my product what i have received i can put a complaint and even the company people they come to your door step collect the samples and they go back and they deposit your money they return your money with a specified time period and so why is that because people they have started implementing the internet of things and that to cloud based systems and etc now here are some of the important things which we need to understand which are the requirement from the back end and etc the green products with a focus on energy efficiency it's a need of the day people are talking of global warming and back end people are trying to implement this iot based system so as to tackle this particular problem the internet has created a revolution in a way consumers buy not only through e-commerce but also with the level of information they can get in seconds prior to making a buying decisions what is the reason behind this one the data stored on cloud then you will say that when why i am talking about energy efficiency let's say that when you are going to buy any product you have to take your vehicle go to the shop take the way product come back again you are on the vehicle you are polluting it just a simple analogy i am trying to tell you then when you are installing at home you come to know that again okay, it's not functioning to return it you go back are we not polluting the environment by making use of instead this is not happening much of the cases because online troubleshooting also they are providing because the data systems are provided in the cloud and corrective actions can be taken at the home itself another one because you know when we are talking with respect to all these kind of concepts and etc you will come to know the over 5000 searches every month the internet of things is one of the most popular topics of the conversation at the moment and there is no wonder iot is revolutionizing the entire product design world and etc from consumer goods like watches home appliances or automobiles to industrial products such as walls or h h v a c equipment products are becoming smarter a smart product is embedded with the software processors sensors and connectivity that have the purpose to exchange the data between the product and its user the environment of other products and all just a simple example fitbit watch what we are wearing this is a classic example of this iot based cloud based system sense a few examples of the smart products are written over here for your information like this one things are becoming revolutionary change similarly when i am talking with respect to the other thing whatever the products we are designing people are thinking of going for the patenting and opening it for the people 
Similarly, if you look into the classic day, uh, you know, facts and figure of the world's total population of 7.4 billion, only 10% have access to the products being designed nowadays. But this scenario is going to change. You will be having the access. You will be able to use it. You will be able to use it in the sense you will be you can you will be having the access to understand the things. And if you come out with some kind of a better idea, then it's it's going to be the fantastic outcome of that one. The CAD software is moving to the cloud. CAD has been essential in the product design for decades, and now CAD software is about to become even better. A recent report indicates that it's a Gartner that the era of cloud-based product design is upon us. According to the report, about 30% of the enterprise software market will be software as a service, what we call it as a SaaS by the end of 2020. This is what is something like this one outcome of the, or, or the backend technology of the internet of things, software as a service. So beware the cloud is coming. Everything is going to be the cloud-based and etc. Everybody knows those who are mechanical engineer, no longer only the mechanical engineer is supposed to know about the computer and engineering. So engineering simulation involves the use of computer software to simulate, validate, and optimize the products in a virtual environment within the purpose of testing and improving them. Today, I can design. Let's say that okay, today you people are in Indoor, being a, one of the cleanest city in India, number one. And if I really want to have a, a book of flat in that one, I can use of this internet of things. How? You know, I, I, I can assess that particular site and I can assess through that internet of things, how is the neighboring area and et cetera. And today I can see what, how the particular structure is and how the internal arrangements are going to be. So it is possible because of the internet of things. Now, why am I talking about? I'm bringing some of the important concepts of the product life cycles and the product designs and et cetera. This is what everybody knows. You people are the management expert people and et cetera. This is the very famous you know, uh, diagram for the product design and development and et cetera. My interest is not to talk about this. Uh, by the way, am I audible to everybody? Hello? Hello? Am I, am I audible to everybody? Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir, you are audible. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Because I, I just sometimes, you know, we get disconnected and I'll be going on talking. So please, in between, I'll be asking this question. Please respond. Is that okay? Hello? May I go ahead? Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So why am I talking about this product life cycle? Because the things are getting shorter and shorter. Why these things are getting shorter and shorter? Because of the internet of things and etc. Because today, my customer is not ready to wait months together. He wants everything to be in no time. Now, to fulfill all these kind of things and etc., let's try to understand in totality what is that I'm talking, trying to talk about. Right? The Internet of Things or IoT is a system of interrelated computing devices, mechanical and digital machines, objects, animals, or people that are provided with the unique identifiers, what we call it as a UIDs, and the ability to transfer the data over the network without requiring human to human or human to computer in interactions and so So in this case, a thing in the Internet of Things can be person with a heart monitor implant, a farm animal with a bio, biochip transponder, an automobile that has a built-in sensors to alert. Sorry. So this is what is something we, which we are talking about to alert the driver when the tire pressure is low or any other natural or man-made object that can be assigned an internet protocol addresses and is able to transfer data over an internet. Now, when I say the network, network system is something like this. If you try to dissection this word, word network, you know, wherever the working systems are there, if you, if you need to transfer the data, 
you have to have a proper sensing systems. Now, when I say the proper sensing systems, I'm talking indirectly about the sensor integrations and et cetera. Now, when the sensors are trying to pick up the signals and et cetera, I need to understand certain terminologies with respect to the sensory systems, which I'm trying to use it for betterment of internet of things. Now, let's understand what is that sensor I'm trying to talk about. Now, for any kind of applications, you have to in, impregnate or you have to infuse the sensors for collecting the data. Now, when I say the sensor, it, it, send, it, it converts one form of the energy to the another form of that energy. And accordingly, depending upon the data which the sensors are you know, collecting, it should be able to actuate the actuators for performing that particular function and etc. Today, I can fire a gun remotely by understanding the surrounding climate or surrounding picture, and thereby I can activate the gun. It has become possible just because of the sensory systems or sensors which are getting developed. Today, I can send my sensors in the form of a, you know, miniaturized drones to the enemy area and try to collect the data and I can generate the map by called as a topology optimization systems. And I'll get to know that where exactly my enemy is standing. This is what is some areas, some kind of a work which is going on in large scale in the defense industry on itself. So this is what is something which is connected to the think what I'm trying to talk about. So why am I talking about, let's try to understand some kind of a historical development. This is very interesting. This is the person Ashton, who is a co-founder of the Auto ID Center at the Massachusetts MIT, first mentioned the Internet of Things in the presentation he made to the Procter and Gamble. And you know that, and the Procter and Gamble is the world-leading company in most of the you know products, maybe the cosmetic, maybe the you know toothpaste and whatnot and etc. Just imagine, and they felt that something. If we really want to be in the market, and you can just imagine. Today, PNG, nobody can re replace from the market and etc. And they're wanting to bring the radio frequency ID, what we call it is RFID, to the attention of the PNG's senior management. Ashton called his presentation, Internet of Things, to incorporate the cool new trend of 1999, the internet. And we know that in India also, we started talking about the internet about uh, maybe way back in 90s and something like this one. And those days, it was not so readily available also. So MIT professor Neil also wrote a book and when the, he wrote a book, When Things Start to Think also appeared in 1990. Look at the When Things Start to Think. Things, which I told you, just one example, like the sensors, when the machine tool systems or any system, when they will start thinking and then they'll be taking accordingly some kind of a, you know, uh, 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 corrective actions. Although the Ashton's was the first mention of the Internet of Things, the idea of the connected device has been around since the 1970s under the monikers embedded internet and the pervasive computing systems and etc. With this particular brief note, let's try to understand what is that I'm trying to talk about. Why are we are talking of IoT and etc.? The internet of things helps people live and work smarter as well as gain complete control over their lives and etc. That is the reason I told you, no? today I'm wearing a Fitbit watch I can monitor my pulse rate. I can monitor my BP. I can monitor how much calories I have burned or how much calories I have consumed. Because of this one, I will be trying to control my day-to-day -day life. Or I have got a reminder which is set, which tells me that when the time has come to take the medicine. So my life is becoming more stress-free nowadays because of this idea. In addition to offering smart devices to automate the homes, IoT is essential to the business. It's not that only it is connected to with the industry or something. IoT provides businesses a real-time look into the how their systems really work, delivering insights into the everything from the performance of the machines to supply chain and logistic operation. IoT enables companies to automate processes and reduce labor cost. It also cuts down on waste and improves the service delivery, making it less expensive to manufacture and deliver goods as well as offering transparency into the customer transactions. Even we were not knowing that, okay, you know, on a medicine, we'll be getting around 10 to 20% or up to 40%, some kind of a discounts. We used to buy it. But just because of the IoT, you know that, okay, there are a good number of 
sites are there, they offer 20 to 30 percent and etc. From where they are offering, just have a thought on that one. You'll come to know that in the form of some kind of a discounts, in the form of some kind of a freebies, in the form of some kind of a gifts, we are feeling delighted. And that is the reason we always wait for those kind of a, you know, discount offers and etc. It's outcome of this internet of things and etc. As such, IoT is one of the most important technologies of the everyday life and will continue to pick up steam, steam as more business realize the potential and connected devices to keep them competitive and etc. How does it work? We need to understand in totality. Then only we'll be able to appreciate. Then only we'll be able to implement it. An IoT ecosystem consists of a web-enabled smart devices that use embedded systems such as processors, sensors, and communication hardware to collect, send, and act on the data they acquire from their environments. I can dissection it, processors, sensors, and the communication hardware, and etc. Let me concentrate where you are very much familiar with the sensors and etc. Why am I talking of sensors and etc.? Unfortunately, though we are ingenious, we fail to understand the sensor in totality. Why am I saying so? Because let's say that okay, here in our institute also, we develop a lot of sensors for meeting all these IoT-based systems and et cetera. We have got one MTech and MTech sensor technology. Even we have started working on a quantum technology and you will find, you if you happen to visit my uh, institute website, you'll come to know that the India's first, first school of quantum technology we have started. Forget about that particular quantum technology. I told you about the sensors. Now, today, sensor is going to make my life very easy. But before that, I need to understand whether I have developed the sensors of right characterization, right properties, and specifications or not. There's a concept just to appreciate about that particular word sensor. One important concept associated with the sensor is the cross sensitivity and etc. I need to get my data without getting affected by the external stimuli and etc. Are we really taking care of those kind of a sensors or not? Or if at all I'm getting the data, am I really comfortable with understanding whether it's, uh, I should use what type of filters, whether I should use a low pass filters or high pass filters? If at all I develop a sensors, do I really know how to characterize or how to uh, you know uh, uh, calibrate my sensors? Those who are from electronics and instrumentation may appreciate. Are we really following the Nyquist criteria to use it, the, those sensors for fulfilling the Internet of Things kind of concepts or not? I can go on talking hours together on this particular aspects, but we have got a short time and we are trying to appreciate in nutshell how to achieve the IoT based systems in totality and what are the things needed to understand to implement the IoT based systems. And so. Okay. Does it mean that okay, whether we use only one type of sensors? We use a multiple sensors. Now today, if you look into any machine tools, any systems, they are full of sensors. Take a simple example of your car. Your car has got multiple sensors. Your, 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 your pressure sensors are there. Your airbag sensors are there. Wiper sensors are there. You, you can even, even your seatbelt sensors are there. I'm using a multiple sensor. Whether they all work on the same, same principle or a single concept? No. Then to fulfill the requirement of IoT, you have to have a concept that is called as a sensor integrations and etc. How to integrate them? Okay, fine. You have integrated the sensors. How to understand, understand the signal conditioning, whatever the signals I am getting out of those sensors and etc. That is the reason I told you that. It looks very simple, but equally difficult to implement. To understand the implementation, you have to understand all these things what I am sharing with you. So IoT devices share the sensor data they collect by connecting to an IoT gateway or other edge device where data is either sent to the cloud to be analyzed or uh, uh, analyzed locally. Sometimes these devices communicate with other related devices and act on the information they get from other devices. The devices do not most of the work without human intervention, although the people can interact with the devices, for instance, to set them up, give them instructions, or assess the data. So these are the, some kind of a prerequisites one should need to know to really talk about the IoT systems. And etc. Look at the example of the IoT system. It talks of collect the data, collect and transfer the data. It talks about the analyze the data and take action appropriately. And that is the reason, take a simple example nowadays, what you are using a blood pressure monitoring systems, 
right you wrap it at home you will be able to otherwise once upon a time we used to go to the doctors only but today at home i'll be able to use it at the same time i can connect it to my doctor who will be able to see that particular data it is outcome of the internet of things so what are the benefits and the tangible intangible things are there right the internet of things offers several benefits to the organization some benefits are industry specific and some are applicable across multiple industries some of the common benefits of the iot enabled business to monitor their overall business process improve the customer experience save time and money enhance employee productivity integrate and adapt business models make better business decisions and generate more revenue everybody can understand there is nothing to explain beyond this but this is very important generally iot is the most abundant in manufacturing transportation utility organization making use of sensors and other iot devices why am i emphasizing a lot on manufacturing because india is looked as a manufacturing hub and top of that when when india has taken a concept called as a make in india and vocal for local it's right time to understand iot in totality to so as to implement however it has also found use cases of organizations within the agriculture infrastructure home automation industries leading some organizations towards digital transformation iot touches every industry including business within the healthcare finance retail and manufacturing these are some kind of advantages and disadvantages which we thought i thought i'll be sharing with you lower operating cost higher employee productivity better customer expectation new consumer insights but equally there are certain disadvantages security and privacy issues lack of technical knowledge internet and power connectivity dependence time consuming and expensive to implement this is okay everybody can understand my interest is to under emphasize a lot on this one. that is the reason i told you that before implementing you have to do cross verification calibration implementation check many times otherwise you may come across with this kind of a situations if there is a bug in the system it's likely that every connected devices will become a corrupted happen since there is no international standard of compatibility for iot it's difficult for devices from different manufacturers to communicate with each other if you remember somewhere in one slide i told you that standardization that it needs to be done and that is the reason we have to understand from the security point of view also look at just to appreciate my statement the iot connects billions of devices to the internet and involves the use of billions of data points all of which need to be secured due to its expanded attack surface iot security and iot privacy are cited as major concern just to appreciate one example is written over here in 2016 one of the most notorious recent iot attacks was mirai a botnet that infiltrated domain name server provider dyn and took down many websites for an extended period of time in one of the biggest distributed denial of service attack server seen attackers gained access to the network by exploiting poorly secured iot devices underlying this poorly secured iot devices that is the reason you need to secure it very properly and we have seen in indian context with some government organization uh, even our websites were hacked because of iot devices are closely connected all the hackers has to do is exploit one vulnerability to manipulate all the data rendering it unusable and etc that is the reason across the world lot of restrictions are coming in using this kind of a systems and etc so iot security systems manufacturers that do not update their devices regularly or at all leave them vulnerable to the cyber criminals that is the reason when you use your you know sbi account or any bank accounts and etc they ask you to change your passwords frequently and facebook most of us are facing issues because our accounts are getting hacked hackers aren't the only threat to the internet of things privacy is the another major concern for the iot users that's what people are talk talking about your data is getting collected by so many cloud based systems and etc are they really secure need to think of beyond leaking personal data iot poses a risk to critical infrastructure including electricity transportation and financial services and etc this is going to be the major threat and that is the reason you have to secure it very carefully how to handle iot security challenges determine what to include in your vulnerability and penetration testing efforts understand which tools to use 
look for both standard vulnerabilities that is missing patches and deeper ones that is lack of encryption and etc choose how to document findings and etc that is the reason even even in our institute we have got one mtech cyber security systems we do train most of the defense personnel here in the dit rather we have opened up the big courses for the you know uh, civilian students what are the issues ip protocol systems and etc needs to be taken into account to handle these kind of situations and etc so iot challenges among the way right now if you look into this one connect scale and innovate every day is a new innovation you cannot think that okay just i have implemented so i can rest assured no because when you are working on a positive system there is a group of people who will be working on a negative system and etc every time they will be trying to hack your systems and etc you need to make sure that is the reason in our, in our day to day life also whenever we go out when we lock our home twice or thrice we pull the lock and we check for its security and etc same is the case here you need to carry out why because the industrial iot applications are enormous which are going to take place soon and most of the industry they have geared up and they are taking up this kind of activities also so in here what are the research communities talking about because we belong to the academic institute basically we we have got both the facets we are not only academic institute we are r and d organization also so that are the and when i am talking to my fellow researchers i should tell what are the research community iot in the research community mobile systems sensor systems real time systems human computer interaction applications uh, you know ml and data mining and what not and etc these are some kind of a research community people are working a lot so there are certain things which we need to understand what are the things sensor technology cheap miniaturized computers low power connectivity capable mobile devices and power of the cloud and etc just to tell you about the sensor technology which is really 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 back end important concept of this iot based systems and etc people are talking of nowadays mems micro electro mechanical systems mems that is nano electro mechanical systems we have got a two route of producing this kind of a sensors one is called as a lithography route for producing this miniaturized sensors and another one is a micro machining what we call it as a surface machining techniques and etc just to appreciate the systems which are developed at this mems levels and the mems level like accelerometer force sensor pulse sensors and etc and that is the reason today our life is becoming very really happy right so this is this is what is the some kind of a cheap computer devices what is being used and today i can use it for my betterment of the systems and etc similarly low power connectivity and etc people are trying to make use of this kind of a smart bluetooth operated systems and etc and capable of mobile devices today my mobile is fully equipped your fitbit watches are fully equipped today no longer i am carrying a separate camera and no longer i am carrying a separate reminder uh, or or programmer or what you can call it as a planner and etc today my whole of the life is in my system that is called as a lap laptop desktop palm top or you call it as mobile devices and etc for doing all these kind of things you have to have cloud based systems and etc today no longer your computer is capable of handling of operating a big you know softwares you talk of any software maybe the matlab hand kind of software i'm not talking of academic versions or if i talk about the computational fluid dynamics cfd software if i talk of ansys software or what not and etc today i i cannot afford to buy most of those computers which will be able to you know process those kind of a, a softwares and etc what is a left out option left out option is i should have a cloud based systems where i can dump my whole of the data i can run my simulations hours together which i used to do in days together today because of the cloud system my data processing has become so easy there are certain cloud providers are there i don't want to market on behalf of them just to appreciate that when i'm just showing good so what is a cloud based internet of things look at you have to have a prerequisite of iot and when you are talking of a real cloud based then you again some more prerequisite you need to have but to do that we have to slightly sneak into the computer department where they have talked about the cloud computing right so this particular cloud computing concept is equally applicable to the cloud 
you know based systems or cloud based you know designs or manufacturer and etc whatever you call it is. so let's try to understand so cloud computing refers to the manipulating configuration and assessing the applications online it offers online data storage infrastructure and application so cloud computing refers to both the application delivered as a service over the internet and the hardware and the system software in the data centers that provide those services the services long been referred as a software as a service that's what i told you that saas is becoming one of the norm the data center hardware and software is what we will we call a cloud based systems and etc so let's try to slightly dissection what what do i mean by the term cloud the term cloud is often used as a metaphor for the internet and refers to both hardware and software that deliver application as services over the internet and the cloud computing is an advancement of the computing history what are the you know sub features are there it's shown on this particular uh, figure itself only so basically are there any types of the cloud computing yes there are some kind of a cloud types of the cloud computing adoptions in the manufacturing sector one is called as a direct adoption of a cloud computing technology in the it and the cloud manufacturing where distributed resources are encapsulated into cloud services and managed in a centralized manner these are some kind of a conceptual reference model just to appreciate this one you have got a cloud consumer you have got a cloud provider and you have got a cloud brokers and etc you need to integrate them use them in totality as per your requirements and top of that one design and manufacturing people are talking with respect to so many in infrastructural things and etc needed for achieving cvdm what are those things needed infrastructure as a service hardware as a service and software as a service in short and how it is connected through by using the iot in a nutshell it is shown over here because at the end of the day i want to produce my component with a full utmost care and quality that is the reason the cloud based design refers to a network design model that leverages cloud computing service oriented architecture web 2.0 social network sites and semantic web technologies to support cloud based engineering design services in distributed and collaborative environments also. by using this i be able to collaborate the things which are in a distributed fashion and that is the reason it is written networking of the systems and etc so this is how the paradigm shift what we are witnessing right from 19th century century to the 2020 and that is the reason the last one if you really look into that it says the cloud based manufacturing system is becoming need of the day and that is the reason back end i'm talking about internet of things just to appreciate that how this internet of things used from the cloud based systems for doing all these kind of activities today sitting remotely i can monitor my systems sitting remotely i can take care of decisions sitting remotely i can monitor my patients also that is how the things are happening in a big way in case of a electronics industry and a medical industry and so today i know that okay if somebody is a diabetic patient he or me she may not able to go to the doctors frequently nowadays what doctors are doing they are picking the chip and that is the reason the new concept area became very popular that is called as a lab on chip concept and so where multiple sensors are embedded which is picked in the body of a patient and the doctor who is sitting all the way few thousand kilometers away from that patient will be able to monitor his condition his sugar levels and etc and accordingly he gives you the you know uh, prescriptions and the decisions what to do what not to do and etc just to appreciate you how the cloud based internet of things not only in the manufacturing sector or engineering sector even the mechanical sector also became very important and etc right so similarly if you really get into other things in our cars are classic examples where we talk about drive by wire systems and etc right so in in aerospace industry we do have a uh, uh, we do work in aerospace industry a lot and where we call it as a fly by wire it is outcome of internet of things or cloud based systems and etc right and that is the reason today any car can be monitored very comfortably and those who are passenger cars are there if you happen to see very closely near the driver they have embedded some kind of a sensory system and uh, near the passengers also they have embedded some kind of a sensory systems and those are connected to the police stations and those are connected to the hospitals and etc if at all any un un unprecedented unwanted act accident takes place 
nearby police stations and the nearby hospitals are getting some kind of alarm and then they are because of this iot based systems they are able to take some kind of a correct reactions okay one of the important facet of this industry 4.0 is the robot based systems then we need to know where are we standing so if you look into indian perspective which this in robotic system is one of the iot based systems and etc uh robots are still a rarity despite being the sixth largest manufacturing country india's robot density is one of the lowest with three robots per 10000 workers and etc that is the reason when you are really want to implement this robotic system in the manufacturing system your back end support system of iot internet of things that to cloud based needs to be enhanced needs to be make very strong so these are the some of the important things which i thought i'll give you just sharing with you Ban and company expects annual IoT revenue of hardware and software to exceed four five four hundred and fifty million dollars by two thousand twenty. Gartner forecasts that worldwide IoT security spending will be around three point one one billion by two thousand twenty one, largely driven by regulatory compliances. Global manufacturers will use analytics data recorded from the connected devices to analyze processes and identify optimization possibilities according to the IBC and SAP. Like this one, I can go on talking about. why am i talking about the reason is that most of the indian industries very specifically and worldwide also they are talking of a lean manufacturing how to reduce the cost of manufacturing etc to appreciate that particular concept let me tell you that a pessim this is half glass full story everybody knows a pessimistic looks half empty and optimistic looks half full but if a lean thinker says can i reduce the glass half the size and etc that is where whole of the world is thinking of how to reduce the time involved in processing delivery and etc then the obvious question is internet of things and very particularly cloud based internet of things so that you can i can utilize the time very quickly this is what uh, uh, because you know as i told you in my first slide i love to quote apple's quotation think differently concept just to advocate that this is what a normal people put in the effort right but i told you that you have to have think differently capability and if you start putting and you have to come out of your comfort zone and what all negative thoughts are there uh, don't do anything just to do nothing and etc it is impossible and if you start putting a small small efforts you will come to know that just add 0.01 effort daily you will find that just doing a small and incremental consistent effort daily gives 37 times the results and etc and that is the reason no longer we should say that i am engineer why should i look into the all these kind of a concepts and etc and that to mechanical engineers time has come even for mechanical engineers all we have to come out of our comfort zone try to learn some of the new things and incorporate and that's what the new education policy also says these are the concluding remarks which i'll be leaving it with you people for your understanding and thank you very much for your patience hearing and i am about to done in my presentation this is for your understanding and i i really appreciate for your patience hearing i am not sure really uh, to what level i could able to penetrate in your thought process and etc just i shared my thought process just i wanted to get connected with you people just to appreciate right being a opener batsman of this particular entity thank you very much over to you thank you sir for such an insightful session on cloud based iot